Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and today I'm here with an epic type test between two different kinds of typewriters that you may not be familiar with if you're into antique portable typewriters or desk typewriters that are more manual. Today we have the IBM Action Writer versus the Bluetooth USB Quirky Writer S keyboard. Now you may have seen me use the Quirky Writer S before in a review that I did on this YouTube channel, but you never see me play with the IBM Action Writer because that's new. And for the Action Writer, it actually has a different mechanism in it than you might be used to with something like an IBM Selectric. It has like a daisy wheel in there of the letters, which is actually really interesting to look at. The keys are much more like a normal old keyboard on your computer. And then against that, we have this USB Bluetooth. It probably has like a navigation system in there and can do your taxes. Quirky Writer S keyboard. And this keyboard will connect to your phone, to your laptop, to other devices you have in your home, and also act as a normal keyboard for those devices. To test these devices today, I have a written out poem from Edgar Allan Poe called A Dream Within a Dream. Why Poe? Well, I love him, and I have a typewriter named after him. And it's also a shorter poem, which I can test both of these machines against each other on for today's type test. Let's talk really quickly about the price differentials on these two machines, because it's kind of extreme. The IBM Action Writer was gifted to me, but it was purchased for about $20 to $25. It came with a cable, a bunch of extra ribbons, and it worked immediately as soon as I got it with a little bit of cleaning. And the Quirky Writer is a new product, well, within the last couple years. It was backed, started on, I believe, Kickstarter, or one of those fundraising crowdsourcing sites. And they have two versions of this keyboard, the original Quirky Writer S, and then they just released some colored versions, and those are well over $200 if you're looking at getting this even at a sale price. Now, do I use these machines in my daily life? No. I'm too afraid of the Quirky Writer that I'm afraid I'm gonna break it, but I do like being able to attach it to my phone and use it as a keyboard on my phone, which is what I'll be doing today. And the Action Writer, brand new, but I have noticed while typing on it, it kind of feels like I'm typing on a computer as opposed to a normal typewriter. So we're gonna give these two a shot. It is a duel to the death, and only one will survive. Well, realistically, hopefully both of them survive because like, I don't really wanna lose either of them. So here's Icarus, the IBM Action Writer 1. And I had to plug this guy in because he is an electric typewriter or cousin of the electric typewriter. And uh, let's try feeding some paper through this guy. First step, turning it on. Now what's interesting about this typewriter compared to my other typewriters is there are no knobs on the side to actually roll the paper through the platen. There's a switch on the top that when you place the paper in the typewriter, like so, if you move that switch, it'll actually accept the paper for you and roll it through, which took me a while to get used to, I must admit, because I was sitting here trying to figure out how to get paper into this darn typewriter. So let's try typing out some things, shall we? So what I noticed about the typing process on this typewriter specifically is, again, it's a lot more like typing on an actual computer, which is kind of nice if you're looking for a really quick way to write through something. This took me absolutely no time. As you can see, the margins on the side are completely straight the whole way through, which I am not great at on my typewriter, even when I set the margins. And the lettering looks a lot more like that IBM Selectric look. Again, kind of like if you took something into Word, picked a font, and then typed it out on your computer and printed it. So it does look a lot more uniform than a normal manual or portable typewriter would look when doing this process. The overall experience, again, is really not like a normal typewriter, and I think putting myself in the headspace of this being a typewriter kind of makes that experience a little bit lacking because it doesn't feel like a normal typewriter. It feels so different. But if you're looking at it from the perspective of some kind of typing tool or something to write with, and you can go in with that mindset of it not feeling like a typewriter, this might be something you could utilize a lot because it's so much faster than using a normal manual or portable typewriter. So let's try the next one. First of all, I have to turn this one off before I unplug it. Always remind me to do that. Now when it comes to the Quirky Writer S, which again does not have a name, if you have an idea for a name for this keyboard for me, please leave it in the comments down below this video. I am afraid of it because it's expensive. <laughs> 
All of my typewriters are usually under $20 to $25. I don't like to spend a lot on these typewriters because I'm experimenting with them, I'm putting them in my car and traveling with them, I'm tearing them apart to learn how they work, but this was gifted to me and I've really enjoyed getting to learn how to use it, especially with devices like my phone. It adds that typewriter feel to some of the other daily things I use, but because I'm afraid to use it, I keep it in the box all the time. So let's do a little tiny unboxing, and if you want to learn more about this, please check out the Quirky Writer S video that I have linked in the description. There she is. And as you can see, I have the plastic cover still covering the keys so that dirt and dust doesn't get in there and protects this fancy keyboard. So the Quirky Writer keyboard actually uses Bluetooth and a USB to connect to your devices like your phone or your computer. Today I'll be using it on what I call my magic calculator, my Apple iPhone, which is as old as dirt and hopefully won't shut down while I'm recording this. That could be really interesting. So I've started a new note on my phone and what's really nice about the Quirky Writer is I can actually put my phone in this nice little tray even when it has on a massive case because I am prone to accidents. But having that ability to be able to place my phone directly into the slot here on the typewriter or typewriter keyboard has been a really nice feature. Now, I have to remember how to do this. There's an on switch. Let's see. Oh, ooh, okay, something's happened. So on the one side, there are these Bluetooth lights, which lets you know if it is attached to a device. And the second I actually turned it on, the keyboard on my notes disappeared so that I can use just the keyboard in front of me to type. So let's give this a shot, shall we? Avow is such a weird word. So in looking at the typing experience on this keyboard to the Action Writer IBM, I actually found that I was so much faster on this because again, it felt like a keyboard. That might also be because this has spell check and the Action Writer does not have spell check. So I knew that if I messed up a word, my phone would know what I meant and fix it for me. So that might be another reason why that was different. So if we're looking at this keyboard specifically, again, it's pretty hefty, but it also has a little bit more usage as far as being able to use with your Bluetooth devices and also your computer. Um, you can use enter on the keyboard or on the carriage return here at the top. You can use the knobs to adjust volume and scrolling on your computer. If you want to see how that works, check out the review I did of this keyboard on this YouTube channel. I found that I liked how quickly it adapted to my phone and I felt that I typed actually faster on the keyboard than I do normally on my phone and I think that's because I was using all my fingers as opposed to just my thumbs. I think this is a really nice device to be able to have in your collection and maybe take to the office or on a trip to integrate that typewriter feel without having to lug around a portable typewriter or a large electric typewriter or having a large manual typewriter on your desk at work. Unless that's the kind of person you want to be at work and more power to you. I do have a typewriter in my office when I'm teaching here at school. So there is no battle to the death on these two, but I did want to test them against each other because they are different than your normal typewriter. And they have a little bit of a different feel. Each of them has their own advantages. This is still very much technically a typewriter. It'll type directly onto paper. You will have a piece of paper at the end, which you can send to friends or use for other things. It just looks a little bit more manufactured because everything is, you know, correctly spaced, you've got lines that are in the right places, everything is readable, and that is not necessarily how everything looks on a typewriter every single time. But again, this does produce something physically that you can use from the typewriter in other places. On the other hand, the Quirky Writer is something you can use on a daily basis with your technology devices, and it might be something nice that you could take to work or to travel with or use in other locations where a typewriter may not be something you can have with you at the time. I highly suggest if you're interested in typewriters and you want to give something a shot, try looking at electric typewriters or an IBM typewriter or a Selectric. It's really heavy, but it's also something really cool to play with in your collection. I've enjoyed my Selectric so much and I'm also really excited to now have this IBM Action Writer in my collection, especially now that one of them is a daisy wheel and one of them is like the Epcot golf ball for letters and you can change out the fonts on those typewriters replacing those two items. I also really like having the Quirky Writer in my collection. I pulled it out today for this video and I think I'm going to be using it a lot more with my phone specifically so that I can type on that and have still that typewriter feel, but also type faster on my phone because that's what I found using it in today's test. 
I want to thank you so much for watching today. If you're interested in more typewriter content, we do have more videos here on this YouTube channel where we're doing crafts and type tests and all kinds of new things that you guys can check out. And we also have an Instagram where I show off more of my collection at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you so much for watching today and remind you that you're just my type writer.